good morning and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis and I'm here at Trans West Truck, Trailer and RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be walking you through another new inventory piece. Behind me I have a Logan Coach Bullseye. It is a 2023 model and it is a four horse gooseneck. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and go over the drawing with you and show you some of the specs. So we're looking at um, a four horse gooseneck here. This trailer is going to be your standard dimensions. So it is going to be six foot nine inches wide and seven feet tall. Because this trailer has a separate front dressing room and a closet tack, we typically do like a three to four foot tack room, but with this one being separate, we are going to a five foot tack on that, which gives you a total floor length of 21 feet and three inches and your stall area is gonna be 16 feet and three inches. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through some of the features of the trailer. We are gonna go ahead and start up here at the front. Um, Logan's do have this really cool feature. I really like this Vortex lining. It is very similar to a bed liner, but it is just a little bit softer in my opinion. Um, it just helps with durability. It makes everything really strong and they do put this protectant on all of their exposed metal. It just kind of helps, especially on this drop wall here, you're running down a dirt road, you get some rocks kick, kicking up on it or whatever. Some you're driving in the rain and you get that road splash. It's not gonna eat away at your metal. Nothing's gonna corrode. And it is just a really nice feature on these Logans. And right here, you can see it really well. We are gonna see it kind of throughout the trailer, but I wanna start up here just so you can see it more. It just covers more of the trailer up here and gives you really good perspective. We can also see that we have our spare tire here and it is going to be a, just a single leg crank jack. Um, that is something we can upgrade to an electric jack if you're interested. Um, just contact us and let us know, but we do have a standard crank one on this jack. So walking back to this side here, I'm going to give you a really good perspective of both of these tack room doors here. You'll notice that front dressing room door is just a little bit smaller and your tack room door here is just a little bit wider. So this one here is going to be 42 inches and just gives you more space there for your swing out saddle racks. And you're not getting those big western saddles kind of bumping on the frame. And we'll go ahead and start up here at your dressing room. Stepping in here, you will notice again up at the front that vortex lining that we talked about and a nice bright LED light. That's going to give you lots of light in here. You can see what you're doing. You'll notice it is fully carpeted, the gooseneck, the drop wall, and the floor. Kind of makes it just a little bit homier for you guys if you're interested in using this. Maybe throw a sleeping bag up here, a mattress, a bedroll. Maybe you want to spend a night in here, or you're going to use this as a dressing room. It just keeps things a little bit cleaner for you, a little bit nicer. And another LED light up here. And then kind of in this extra space here, you'll notice just more space. I've had a lot of customers that like to use this. They maybe put in some shelves back there, put in a clothes bar, kind of whatever you like just gives you even more room to go ahead and build that out however you like. And with your LED lights, you can just kind of see everything that's going on in here, nice and bright. And you are going to have that vortex lining everywhere. Coming back here, we're going to have your closet tack with that 42 inch door opening. Again, for your swing out saddle racks, you get those big Western saddles on. You'll notice plenty of clearance here. Your skirts are not going to hit that frame. This, saddle, this trailer, being a four horse gooseneck, is gonna come with four saddle racks. You order a three horse, you're gonna get three saddle racks, but they always have room to add that fourth one if you want. So you can have a total of four on here. Really nice, kinda helps you take it in and swing it back out. On your door here, you're gonna have your saddle blanket bars. It does come with a clip to clip it to the door. That way it's going to hold your pads flush up against the store and they're not going to go sliding off when you're driving down the road. And on this door, you're also going to have a brush box. 
That brush box does have a carpet liner, but it is removable. So if something spills in there, you can go ahead and pull it out, rinse it off, dry it off, put it back in. Kind of just really good storage. I like to use them for fly spray, especially in the summer. Mane and tail detangler if you need to brush out their tail. Um, just like a hoof pick, keep it nice and close. And I also use a lot of like liniment spray and stuff like that. So I keep that nice and close. Mane and tail brush to go with that spray. Just really good, easily accessible items right here for you. And on this door, we're also gonna have a sliding bus window. That is really nice, especially right here by your saddle pads. You get a wet saddle blanket on here, it's gonna sell, smell a little bit musty at times, you know? So this is gonna give you even more ventilation, kind of get that smell drawn out of there and keep it a little bit fresher in your tack room for you. Coming to the inside of your tack room, you are gonna notice that vortex lining again. Again, really like that feature, super nice. Being in your tack room, it's gonna help deaden the noise along with that carpet. You get things like if you hang stuff up on your bridle hooks up there, or you put set like a pitchfork in here or anything else, it's gonna go hitting up against that wall when you're driving down the road with the carpet and that vortex lining. It is gonna help deaden the noise. Your horses on the other side of that wall aren't gonna hear that banging around. It's gonna be a little bit nicer for them. And with that carpeting and the vortex lining, it's also gonna prevent from scratching. So you get anything metal like your bits or your conchos, anything else sliding up against those could be exposed metal. It's just gonna scratch. Could scratch the trailer, could scratch your tack with the carpet and the vortex lining. That is not gonna happen. And back in the corner, you're gonna notice we have a water tank. That is just kind of wasted space. We went ahead and filled it with a 35 gallon water tank for you. It does have a spigot to fill buckets and at the bottom it also has an adapter for a hose. You run your hose right outside here and fill buckets or you can set your bucket in there and fill it. Maybe you want to wash off your shoes, maybe you want to fill a bucket for your dog, anything like that. You take water from home. I know me personally that's helped a lot being in like a rodeo type setting, parking way out in the middle of nowhere, not having to truck buckets back and forth from a spigot. That is a very nice feature. Could also come in handy on trail rides. A lot of trailheads aren't gonna have spigots. Maybe they'll have a small watering fountain, but not for big horse buckets. So that will help there. And then maybe getting stuck in traffic. You never know what's gonna happen driving down the road. You blow a tire, you're stuck on the side of the road. You're gonna have water right there for your horses, easily accessible, no concerns for you there. Coming down to the side of our trailer here, we're gonna notice, start up at the top, we have another one of those really bright LED lights. We also had one in the tack room there and you did see them in the front dressing room. Just helps light up the trailer. There's never, you can never have too much visibility. That's always a nice feature. Tie up right here, saddling horses first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening, whatever it may be, you're gonna be able to see what you're doing. Below that, we're gonna have four of those sliding bus windows. Again, just gonna help with ventilation, drawing the air out of the trailer, keeping those horses cool in the summer. Or if you put them back in there and they're a little bit sweaty from a trail ride or a competition, it's just gonna help cool them off, get that sweat rolling out of there and dry them off a little bit faster for you. Below those windows, we're gonna have four tie rings because it is a four horse trailer. We're giving you the option to tie all four on either side. Down below that, we're gonna have two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles and those tires you can tell by the green stem here they are going to be nitrogen filled so with that nitrogen filled tire we're just being able to control that psi a little bit easier with air there can be a lot of fluctuation in that um, especially here in colorado it was in the 30s this morning it's going to be in the 70s today you could come out and have a low tire get rolling down the highway and ends up heating up and fills back up. That's not gonna happen with these. They're always gonna be at the right PSI, ready to go for you. No issues there. These tires are coming with a one year, no questions asked warranty and two years of roadside assistance. So really nice to have that, lot less worry for you guys. So we're gonna work our way to the back of the trailer here. You'll notice we do have two 50-50 doors. 
again on the inside of those doors is that vortex lining. I told you guys we'd be seeing it everywhere. We're gonna see it all throughout the inside of this trailer, especially on the sides and the door here. Really great feature for horses that maybe like to kick or they back up on that wall, rub their feet up against it. Not gonna scratch, not gonna dent, super durable. Really nice feature for your lined walls and your lined doors. We do have another one of those LED lights. Really good for loading and unloading, just being able to see what you're doing. Our floors here are just gonna be a rubber mat. Underneath that rubber mat, we do have vortex lined, whiz proof aluminum slatted flooring. This is a Logan feature right here. They do aluminum slatted flooring just for draining purposes. You have a horse that ends up urinating in here and it goes through the floor, it's gonna drain right out of your trailer. It's not gonna sit on your floor and corrode it or get it to wear out or anything like that. We do have the rubber mats in here, but you can upgrade to a polylast flooring that's drainable itself. So that way it drains through your floor and then through your aluminum slatted flooring. And you did notice that flooring is also vortex lined. So you get the road wash kicking up on the underside. It's not going to corrode. And one great thing about that is they do offer a lifetime corrosion warranty with that. So they do stand behind that product and they are very proud of it and they do believe in it. Stepping into our trailer here, you'll notice our dividers are padded. All three of them are fully padded. This last one has these bars here because it is a telescoping divider. So you'll notice when I open it, once it gets to right about here, it's gonna start to come out of the trailer or hit on those rear doors. So one feature we have added here is this telescoping feature. You're gonna pull up on this pin and slide your divider in and then it can clip right here. So it can clip open and you'll notice it is flush up against here. You are gonna be able to close those doors. Maybe you wanna use this for loose stock. Just turn your horses loose in here. Maybe you gotta haul some cattle. Maybe you even wanna throw a four wheeler in here, one of your toys. You can clip these dividers open and run with them open and just have a nice big area here because we did make this telescoping. So really nice feature there. All your dividers do have that clip option. Super easy to operate. Now you're just gonna have nice big open trailer. You do notice they do stay open pretty well without being clipped, but just in transit, they're not gonna swing shut once you do clip them open. You'll notice the vortex lining runs all the way up, all the sides. And we do have roof vents above each stall. These roof vents do operate both ways. So you can go ahead and push them open and have pull air into this trailer and you can slide them open this way or push them open towards the back and then you have air that can be drawn out of the trailer. So one really cool feature you could start with up here is push them open to the front to pull air in, get it running through your horses and have these back ones here opened to the outside. So it's gonna draw that air right back out and just get nice airflow running all the way through this trailer. And then you can see from back there, this roof does have a slight bow to it. That is just gonna help with drainage up top. So it gets rained on, snowed on, you got some moisture up there. Maybe this morning when it was so cold, you had a little bit of frost up there. Once that sun hits it and melts, it's gonna turn into moisture and it's just gonna slide right off this trailer. So some trailers are gonna have a flat roof up there and then their water is just gonna pool up there. So it's just gonna set up there. And it's gonna cause some issues for you later on. Maybe wear out those roof seals. That's not gonna happen nearly as quickly on this one with that bow. The water's just gonna drain right off. All right, stepping out of this trailer, we're gonna come around to our head side. So you'll notice some same features on our head side as on our hip side. We do have that LED light up top. We do have a couple marker lights running along the side. Below that, we do have four tie rings on this side as well. So you can go ahead and split your horses, couple on each side. You can tie all four on the same side. Whatever works for you, you're gonna have that option. Below that, you got those same rubber torsion axles, the nitrogen filled tires. 
The only difference on this side is we're going to have those drop down head windows. So these are a very nice option that Logan makes. Go ahead and close that one nice. They shut really easily. And they have this really cool latch right here. It just, I mean, myself personally, I am pretty tall, so it's a lot easier to reach latches. Maybe someone not as tall. A lot of the latches are gonna be up here or right here. Not as easy to reach. Logan has made this bar right here, so you can go ahead and pull down right in the middle here. Makes it a little bit closer for you there, probably eight, 10 inches. You slide that, pull that down and drops down right there for you. Go ahead and push it into place there. Now it's not going to kind of do that wave effect as you drive down the road. It's going to lock into place and stay open for you. And then we do have our jail bars here, which also drop down. This middle bar here, just going to pull on it. The window opens up. Logan has gone ahead and put a window screen on that for you. They are removable. If you have a horse that's kind of mouthy and likes to play with them or whatever, you can go ahead and take them off. But if you don't want to, they're already on there for you. And what that's gonna do is just offer a little bit more protection. If you wanna run with your windows open, you're not gonna get any rocks kicking up in here and hitting your horse in the face. Not gonna have bugs getting in there. I've had some people end up with birds in their trailer. That's not gonna happen with these. And Logan's already put them on there for you. So that is really nice. And again, just super easy easy to use they've thought about you they thought about the customer and how it's going to work best for you guys again i'm doing it all with one hand so just really nice easy to use i'm going to go ahead and put these up for you so we can step back and take a look at the whole trailer you'll notice it is that charcoal metallic color i personally really like this color i think it's really pretty it's a little bit different than all your white trailers out there. It gives you a little bit of uniqueness and also maybe matches your truck. There's a lot of trucks out there nowadays that are different colors. This one's going to match a gray truck really nice. Again, this is a four horse option. We do have these in three horses. We do have these in bumper poles. Maybe you do want a white one or a silver one. We do have those as well. Maybe you want to add an electric jack, add a ramp, add a hay rack, something else that you have in mind, just give us a call. That is something we can do here. Maybe that is something we already have on our lot. We can take a look at our inventory and see what we can do for you. Again, this one is brand new. Just came on our lot, but it is still available. So if this is something you're interested in, the stock number on it, 5N220986. If you're interested in this one specifically, you can contact me with that stock number. Maybe you want this in a bumper pole or a three horse. Just let me know and I can help you out. Again, my name is Michaela Geis. My email address, Michaela period Geis at transwest.com. This is my personal cell phone. You can call me or text me if you prefer. That phone number is 303-918-6367. And you can call my direct office line, 303 303- 684-3472. Thanks for tuning in.